Welcome back to another week <laughs> of BYTV! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another week of BYTV. First off, I think I have to deal with this off the bat. Do you have an apology to issue? No, uh, that's you this week. No. Yeah. <laughs> no? Yeah. Well, I was supposed to be Matthew, but he's wimped out of it. Okay. Like, as per usual. But yes, we've, we've de apologise. There was an awful sad event last week. We need to go get a coffee, and BYTV didn't happen. So yeah. It was good, good coffee. I didn't have coffee, but no, Matt, but, I, but. <laughs> Matt said it was good coffee. Caleb, what do you have? Very really hot chocolate. But like, mm, that's nice. Right, what I have? No, no, like coffee or tea rubbish. Like, I had a bottle of Coke Zero actually. To be fair, I was, I was a wee bit warm. Mm. Yeah, like, I think we just took that absence just to give the other news channels a chance because like they've been struggling since we started up. Like, we're yeah. ranking in the views. Yeah. So I believe you've just segued away us perfectly into the bad jokes. Yep, absolutely. The bad absolute shambles. More more bad jokes. You the last time that they listened to me, we got bad jokes from myself and Matthew. And now, well, yeah, I well it can't be hard to be those ones like real story. Yeah. Or I'm on a different website this week, I find a website of all bad jokes, so not coming up off the top of my head with these ones. <laughs> it's got a hilarious name on it, but like guy. Yeah. Oh, you take us away at the first one here. Go on. What's the one thing in life you can always count on? Numbers. A calculator. Thank you, I appreciate that. So, whenever you are out in the snow, how do you find Will Smith? Don't know. You follow the Fresh Prince? <laughs> Oh, he's done you there. Come on, up the ante here, come on, that first one's shambles. It was. How is a bar of soap the same as your dreams? I don't know, you tell me. They're both amazing at slipping away. Mm, See, you more slip off to sleep rather than your dreams slipping away, but... Yeah. Did you, did you hear about the new broom which has been released? No. It's sweeping the nation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're about to. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. Why do you never see elephants hiding behind trees? Yes. Because they're, they're so good at it. They're so good at it. Just don't see them. Fair play. Yeah, yeah I should do. Too fair, I haven't seen any elephants run, but... Well, Caleb. Amazing news. What's this? Got something for you. Tell me. I've got you. something for the people too. Oh, do Not you? just you, yep. It's a Baptist youth event. It's called Regenerate. It's on the 12th of June. Wow, that is fascinating. You know yeah. that's also the Queen's birthday. There you go. There you go. But Regenerate is definitely going to be the thing yeah. to be at. In person. What? In person? Are you joking? Like, COVID? This can't be another one of your bad jokes here. No, 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 this isn't a bad joke. This is in person. It's really actually happened. 7.30. 7.30 on the dot? On or the dot. You can be there a couple of minutes before, maybe a couple of minutes after. Why wouldn't you? Because I give that a sort of citation. Because yeah. like, we know Matt Poston's going there for... Or the females. <laughs> yes, but tell you what, it's at Emmanuel Baptist in Lisbon. You just might remember that, it's not like you're I, there every I, week. I, I, yes, I, you wouldn't think I'm an intern there, but yeah, it's in Lisburn. And the only thing is, you have to sign up for it. And your sign up is coming on Monday on the Facebook, I think. I just check all the social media. So it's going to be a night which is all about mission. And who's your speaker for tonight, do you know? It is David Gilkinson. So it's like a fascinating name. Like. Fascinating name, probably a fascinating speaker too. <laughs> 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 so yes, Saturday, 12th of June, sign up on Monday, keep your eye out and get yourself signed up. So yeah. we'll be, see you in person, see you there. Uh, Caleb, I want to ask you something. You've already asked me a lot of things, but I'll give I'll, you one more question. Sure. I want to ask you one thing, I don't know. What's, what's, what are we like for teams? Can, can I book on any more of them? 
believe it or not, you can. Somehow there are still some spaces. So if you're a free during the summer, there are still the Crumlin teams and the Gilnerher by teams. So there are still spaces on those teams, so feel free to get your name down. Cool. Does that mean there's no more team in the London? No more room? Ah, uh, the boys finally turned up. The boys turned up. I wonder was it Matthew Parson going for the females, was it? No. But by the look of his face, yes. Yes, his definitely, face definitely. Was. Yeah, we got a thumbs up there. Yeah. So yes. So. Crumlin, Gil and Herc, get yourself signed up. Yeah. Maybe see you there. Maybe not. Maybe. Okay, so now we're moving on to our next segment, and I believe you have a sp very special message for all of us. Yes, it's the thought for the week. It's, it's that time again, and I've, I'm prepared this week. Makes so a change. Makes Revolutionary. A change. Yeah, doesn't it? So Are pigs yeah. flying? No. No. I'm, I'm just wised up. Yep. So, this week we're going to look in Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39, and I'll just read it out for you. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will, we, how will he also not with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God elect? It is God who justifies, who is to condemn. Christ Jesus is the one who died, more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us who shall separate who shall separate us from the love of christ shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written for your sake we are being killed all the day long we are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered no in all these things we're more than conquerors through him who loved us for i am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor rulers nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor heights, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Really, in this here passage, it's saying that nothing in all creation can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. After writing about human suffering and all the matter concerning discipleship, Paul composes one of the best known portions of scripture in this passage. In language reminiscent of Isaiah 57 9, he affirms that there is nothing, whether it be human, cosmic, or even supernatural origin, that can separate the believers from the love of God, expressed in God's sending of Christ for the, for the salvation of humanity. For the believer, we are in unity, inseparable from God. But for the unsaved, you can go, become united in Christ too, through asking forgiveness and being brought into God's inseparable family. Well, Caleb, it's that time again for our tune along challenge. But before we hand over to you here, uh, we may give Mr. David Peters a shout out. He got the, the song right and the, the artist from last week. Fair play to him. Would you care to reveal the song in case it, someone was not able to work it out? Since you started acting it out midway through. Yeah, it was Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond. Mm. Wee classic. Wee classic, honey, that one, hi. Huh? But Caleb, you're going to do the tune along challenge and for us this week, and well, apparently so. It's it's more tune along charades, is it? I believe this week. Yes. So, I'm going to be pretty much acting out the lyrics to a song, and you just have to guess what the song is and what the lyrics are, or well, not what the lyrics are, but the artist is. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> have to get the artist and the song Aye. from your gracious actions. I wouldn't call it gracious, and yeah. if they can get it, fair play to them, because honestly, I don't know what I'm doing here, but aye. Uh, <laughs> sure. There's a first time for everything. You know, give it a go, sure. Um, so, yeah. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> so. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a shambles, but... That was elegant. 
So it was. Don't kid yourself. Yeah, no, that was hard to watch. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I quit as an intern. Oh dear. Oh. From now on, you will no longer see Caleb in the BYTV broadcast. <laughs> Thankfully, sir. <laughs> but after that scene, uh, I believe we'll have to we'll round it off. We'll not make anybody watch any more of that. Uh, they might want to rewind and make clips no. ready. If you want to make Option clips. Options means. Nope. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. yeah. Send, send it through. We'll, we'll have to get a couple of them going. Yeah. But that's us. Week five over and out. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's BYTV. See you next one. See you next time.